Reuters reports that gunmen killed several supporters of a politician in Nigeria's oil-producing Niger Delta this past week during a gathering at his home in the latest act of political violence ahead of elections in April. Supporters of Timi Alibi, who quit as presidential advisor on the Niger Delta last month to run for the governorship of Bielsa State, were attacked during a reception to welcome him back from the capital Abuja. Initial reports said two people were killed by attackers armed with guns and machetes, but witnesses later said they believed four people died and two were critically injured. We believe that this is what we want to stamp out in this state. So no amount of bombs, no amount of intimidation, no amount of AK-47s will deter us from casting our votes. Africa's most populous nation has been rocked by pockets of violence around the country in recent weeks, and there are fears of further unrest as it prepares for presidential, parliamentary, and state government elections in April. The Niger Delta, home to the continent's biggest oil and gas industry, is a potential flashpoint, and Bielsa, President Goodluck Jonathan's home state, is particularly volatile. Two bombs exploded during a political rally there just over a week ago. The Niger Delta is home to thousands of former militants responsible for years of kidnapping and attacks on oil facilities who are meant to be undergoing retraining and reintegration following a 2009 government amnesty. But the region remains awash with weapons and many of the armed gangs behind the unrest were originally sponsored by politicians who used them to help rig elections and intimidate voters. There are fears that history will repeat itself. There's a bitter rivalry between Alibe, who is the main man on the ground responsible for implementing the amnesty, and Bielsa Governor Timi Prey Silva, who saw himself politically overshadowed by Alibe's success with the program. Alibe quit to challenge Silva for the governorship.